Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day and welcome back to the fifth installment of my Waymo versus Tesla FSD beta series in Chandler, Arizona. This time we're still on 10.11.2 and we're starting off at the Desert Breeze Park and I didn't do a very good job syncing up the two cars start times here on the video. I apologize for that, but it won't make a difference in the final outcome. So let's get into it and see how it goes. Be able to get out from here. Quite in the middle. This is like kind of a two-way, but no traffic. I do apologize. I have a lot of stuff in the car, so if it's noisy, you can blame that on me. And we have a stop sign. So I do have a new piece of kit here today um, with the second camera setup. The front camera um, was overheating the first time I used it, so I've added a handheld battery powered fan to cool it down so hopefully you can't hear the fan uh, I don't think you'll be able to because it's quieter than the rumble from the car and hopefully the fan works so this is the first time I'm testing it for, um, for keeping the camera cool I did find some construction uh, around here but I wasn't able to uh, get the Waymo to navigate through it uh, it seemed like Waymo was aware of the construction because all of the lots of areas nearby were unavailable for pickup and drop off and then when I had my pickup uh, at a spot near the construction it purposely navigated away from the construction so I, I tried several spots and I tried to basically game the system so that because we know Waymo always wants to turn right. Yeah, get a lane change here. Uh, we know Waymo always wants to turn right. So I went to such an area that it would have to turn right. But then with the construction, it just refused. Because when you set up the ride, it shows you the route it's going to take. And it just took a completely roundabout route to avoid the construction. So I decided not to um, try to force that area because we're right on the edge of the, we want this left lane it looks like. We're right on the edge of Waymo's operation area and the construction goes right to the edge. So it was really difficult to try to get a ride in that area. So unfortunately, we weren't able to force Waymo to go through there. And I know Tesla would have struggled there as well because uh, there was no lane lines. It was like two lanes, but no lines. So the Tesla was like jutting back and forth. Okay, very smooth left, protected left turn. It looks like two miles and we'll have a right turn. 45. So these will be my last two Waymo videos and hopefully my last videos in Chandler ever. Uh, I think I've seen more than enough of the city. And I know people like the videos a lot, but there's just there's really nothing interesting going on here. There's, it's not a good place for testing the FSD beta system. Um, there's just there's no complexity. There's not a lot of traffic. There's no pedestrians. So there's just nothing going on here. And I've spent a lot of time just driving around, looking for interesting places, looking for interesting intersections. There's just nothing, guys. At least as best I can tell. There's also a lot of like private roads developments and gated communities and stuff that you can't get into there's a lot of roads that don't have parking even though they're very wide um, and the reason that's important is I need to park my car somewhere and then take the Waymo ride and then come back to my car so it's important to have parking nearby that's why I started at the park the parking in the destination isn't as important because you know, we just finish there and then we can turn around and come back to where the car is. So.
get away, no problem. stoplight uh, algorithm to normalize for stoplights and then assuming the Tesla can make it without an intervention it should be quite competitive with the Waymo. I looked at the Waymo route between these two places and it looked like Waymo was going to go a lot longer for whatever reason. Okay, we have a shared left lane See how there's no parking here? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look how wide this street is, guys. And there's a half breakdown lane, but you're not allowed to park. You know? 400 feet. And looks like we're getting into a development. I'm always concerned going into areas I've never been just because it could be private roads and gated and stuff like that. Okay, too far to the left. This is left on Dava already, my friends. Wow. That went by quickly, guys. Um, I don't know why it's stopping. Are we done? Hmm. Okay, just a little hesitant. This is Dava. Nope, sorry, this one's Dava. Dead end. All right, now that the Tesla has finished, I will add a timer over the Tesla portion of the screen, and I will fast forward the Waymo portion of the video because it's still quite long and I'll get into an explanation of the routes. This is the route that the Waymo took and you can see it starts off going left from the parking lot and then it drives straight past uh, McClintlock here and I'm not entirely sure why that is. I was just looking at the map and um, this is where we would turn into the neighborhood and I was thinking perhaps Waymo didn't want to do an unprotected left there and switching to street view we see this is a three light uh, stoplight which means it wouldn't have a dedicated uh, left turn green and red arrow and what that means is Waymo would be forced to do an unprotected left here but once we get past that of course they're not going to take the highway uh, and then finally it goes left on Dobson Road. And then the other interesting part about the Waymo is when they get to Elliott Road, uh, they've decided not to turn left here. And instead, they've decided to go past Elliott, take a right on Summit, 
and then basically do three right turns uh, to get onto Elliot. Uh, that's quite annoying because it takes a lot longer. And also, um, these neighborhood streets have speed bumps. So it ended up taking quite a long time to take these three rights, and you also have to wait at the stoplight um, twice. So this is the junction of Dobson and Elliot. And you can see we have a dedicated um, set of arrows there. So this is a normal protected left-hand turn. It should be very straightforward for Waymo, and um, they've done it in lots of other rides. So I'm not entirely sure where this three right situation comes from. Perhaps it's an anomaly because when I was in the middle of this three right um, maneuver, the ride support called and asked if everything was okay and everything seemed perfectly normal to me. Um, but because of this much longer route, uh, it, the ride ended up taking much longer for Waymo. Of course, Tesla just took a normal route from A to B, I'm not entirely sure which one, but it's um, only an eight minute, nine minute ride. All right guys, there you have it. The Waymo finally finished. It took about 10 minutes longer as it took a much longer route as I covered in the middle part of the video. So we can clearly call Tesla the winner by quite a landslide in this case. So the overall score is two for Tesla, two for Waymo and one tie. I do have two more videos coming in the series. So stay tuned for those and subscribe if you'd like to see them. And until next time, I'll see you then, my friends. Cheers.